Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. So you've upgraded to Windows 8.1 and all of a sudden you're stuck with a Windows account to use to log into your machine instead of the old machine account that you used to use. We can fix that. Somewhere along the line of upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1, you are asked to confirm your login account, the original one, the old one that you used to use. But then you are also requested to create or use a Microsoft account, usually an at hotmail.com or an at outlook.com account. Uh, it, I say requested because in fact it is a request. There are ways to actually bypass it at that point, but it's not at all obvious. And in fact, it's somewhat more complex than just going ahead and letting it happen and then doing what we're about to do to remove it. So the bottom line is you have a machine like this one where in order to log in, you have to specify your Hotmail or Microsoft account password. And it works. I mean, certainly there are scenarios where using a Microsoft account to log into your Windows machine is perhaps the right thing to do. I much prefer to use the old standard machine based login account. So to do that, what I'm going to do is now that it's fully loaded, I'm going to type sign Let search do its thing and click on sign in options. That's where the magic is. That brings up a tiled interface. I've actually not found this particular control to be available in the desktop control panel. I've only found it here in the tiled interface. What we'll want to do is click on your account and then click on disconnect. We'll need to reconfirm the password for that Microsoft account. And now we have an opportunity to create or actually revert to the original login account we used before we did the upgrade. In this case, Leo N is in fact the account that I was using to log in. I'm going to give it a password. In my case, I just happen to give it the same password that I use all the time uh, on my Windows machines for compatibility. Hit next and we sign out. Once we've done that now, Windows will ask us to sign in again. This time, we can choose the user with that name. And now our machine is logged in using the machine account we had to begin with. That's really all there is to it.